Oh, space powers. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Reassembly. We're going to start a, a new game with the Terran race today, and uh, that's the most balanced race that there is. I thought it would be fun to do a little playthrough. Farmers are pretty cool. They start with shields. Uh, but they're mostly passive. Reds regenerate health really fast. If you play on the red mode, you are entering the hard mode, basically. Bees have the bestest thrusters and uh, stabbing little beam swords in the game, which I guess makes sense. Crystalline got, like, rocket launchers. Probably the uh, the best race, as it were, since they can blow up ships relatively easily with just uh, a few volleys of rockets. Tinkrels uh, basically have only one weapon, but they add different parts onto it. It's really, really interesting. The whole ship is basically a weapon, uh, so it's extremely difficult to modify it, at least in my opinion. And then finally, you've got the Sentinels, which are extremely dangerous. Uh, they mostly have like a charging shot, which is kind of awkward to shoot, but if it hits, it will hurt. We're going to start with the Terran, because uh, I like tearing it up. Ha ha ha. Oh my and uh let's let's do red and black that looks cool all right so here we are a little tiny ship to start we've got a a dual missile launcher that's gonna be able to do some damage hopefully and then i've also got my uh my main weapon pachui pachow and now it says to press 1 to modify the ship. I will have to go and uh, kill some other ships in order to be able to do that. But I'll have to find something that's roughly my size because uh, I don't want to get fucked up too hard. we got to watch out for those red boys. Those red boys, they out there. There's some, uh, some currency right there. Really, really cool. I love the trails in this game. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It was a Kickstarter game, and I do have a review of that. Um, if you'd like to check it out, I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I like the game so much that I decided I, I want to do a little more on the channel. It doesn't get the attention that it deserves, surely. So we filled up to capacity there for just a second, which was nice. Now I'm gonna fucking chase this dude down. Terrans have really good, uh, thrusters on their ship. Probably the bees are the only ones that got better thrusters. And uh, I think we're fighting a Tinkrail right now. So. Oh yeah, he's out of here. Whatever. Uh, finally, get, the, get this shit out of here. Left uh, a few little drones for me. That is one difference between the races. Some, some have a lot of drones and some have a lot of missiles. So it's basically uh, up to you which you'd like. I definitely prefer missiles. Get my get my damage up front kind of thing, and I'll turn in some more uh, some more currency, so I can drag new blocks to basically uh, change my ship and whatnot. I can also add cannons and things, but all that increases your P power, uh, but that can be upgraded with uh, resource points. You also use uh, the currency that's turned in from resources to uh, unlock different items. Proton Sword, super, super cool. Mine Layers, Rocket Launchers. The Terran have basically the most um, options out of all of the other ships. So, really, really cool. I'll probably have to save up just a little bit more. I can maybe add some, uh, some cannons if I'd like. Why not? Just a little bit. Right there, right there. Maybe another one? Maybe one more? Yeah, I will have to upgrade now. So click that button right there. Boom. And now we've got uh, plenty of extra, extra points. Or not plenty. Enough to put a missile launcher? Nope. We'll save up a little more. Save that. And uh, you can see above the map there is a power meter, which is currently holding steady. So I can continuously fire this weapon without worry of uh, without worry of running out of power, which really does suck because then your weapons will start ripple firing, which is um, not ideal, especially if you're you're face to face with a ship. So I haven't died yet. I think that's pretty good. We'll come over here. I'll say hi, friends. Hi, friends. 
Yes. Destroy the ball. And I've got to activate some more stations as well. I really do enjoy this game, just the, uh, the vastness of space. Enjoy the solitude. What a wonderful thing. Oh my god. Firing so many drones at me. I don't like it. Please don't. And he's not gonna stop. So, alright. How's that? How's that? Had enough now? Nope. I'll just back up a little bit. Hmm. Got to shower him. Shower! I hate those, those, those drones. The little drones coming after me. Get the fuck away! Get the fuck away! I am uh, far more maneuverable than this thing, it seems. So I'm gonna do my best to try and take him down and not die myself. <laughs> this is the sort of game that you will die a lot in, especially if you go uh, take on a fleet and you're unprepared. Damn, this guy's tough, isn't he? He tough guy, huh? Get him! CRUSH HIM! <sighs> oh, whatever. I'm not gonna fuck around with him anymore. I'll go uh, activate another base. Ooh, yeah. That was nice. Gotta go pick up them resources. More! More! Uh-oh. That is a big turret. Nice. Some stray missiles got that guy. Those missiles are definitely strong. Uh, the blue team does have like an upgrade even to those missiles. And it gets extremely, extremely intimidating. <laughs> Boosh! Blow everyone up. Alright, I gotta turn in my resources so I can get some currency. Upgrade my shit just a little bit more. Um, there are also like containers you can attach to your ship to increase how much R you can take along and I probably will do that at some point but right now I'm just trying to build up uh, the base currency a little bit of uh, a little bit of currency so I can get my ship up to an optimal level with some cool uh, secondary secondary weapons and all oh my god don't fuck with me kid Turn all this in. Yeah, we're getting up on like 2,000 resources. That's pretty good. Oh my god. I will help you, mothership! We must destroy them! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I turn away. Oh my god. We are in the middle of some shit here. But that's okay. More than equipped to handle it. Which is the great thing about Terran, is just, uh, so balanced. Some of the other classes definitely, uh, put a strain on my, on my patience. Ah, yes, heal me, mothership. Oh god. Those are definitely, uh, big torpedoes coming out. Well, I can fire on this thing as long as I stay inside the shield, it seems. So good, destroy him. Ow, ow. Too much. Crush, crush, crush. Nope. Got crushed. <laughs> and there's the first death. One of many in reassembly, I'm sure. But I want to build a, a gigantic mothership. I want to outsize that thing. Is what I really want. Oh god, that's the same fucking thing. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Nice thing about a little ship is I can outpace a whole lot of shit. That missile's still coming for me. There, it blew up. Good. And this is, uh... Looks like a little turtle turret. Oh god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They took off the whole front of my ship with just a couple missiles. And now I got, uh... A couple aggros coming after me. Get this shit off me. No drones. No drones. I could get some auto-fire turrets to take care of the drones. Which would probably be... Ideal. Oh my god. So many blue guys. 
So many blue guys. But I can outpace you in the asteroid field. Whoop, whoop. Don't ever tell me the odds. Dude, I just navigated that asteroid field like a pro. I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot fuck a toot. Toot fuck a toot! Destroyed a twerp ship. I like how the, the ships are all named differently for the different races and things like that. Flies are probably what I like as a, a little tiny ship. But then once you get bigger, you gotta hunt bigger game so you can upgrade your ship even faster. And uh, it gets pretty crazy. Eventually. Let's see if we can do something against this guy. Uh oh. Little buggers. Get out of here, little buggers. Hmm. He's trying to square up on me. You squaring up on me, boy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he was. Definitely uh, a lot bigger than us, but I thought because we had missiles and such that it might not go so poorly. I was wrong. There's a little triangle on the map here that I'm pointing to with my cursor. That is uh, a rogue fleet, I believe it's called. Renegade fleet, something like that, which is basically a player designed fleet that has been uploaded. They are generally extremely, extremely dangerous unless uh, the player was not that good at creating a ship, which it's not too hard to create a functional ship in reassembly, honestly. Oh my god. We gotta do the dance of death through the asteroid field. And uh, yeah, we're seeing lots of lots of green ships, lots of red ships. Once you go towards the center of the map, you'll see much more blue ships. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! We need a shield. That would be quite helpful to me. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, 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 oh! And I smashed like half of my ship. I love how you can see it in the upper left, uh, what's missing on your ship and whatnot. It's definitely one of the main things that attracted me to reassembly initially, and uh, it's not lost its appeal at all. It's been almost a year since I did that review, and this game is still in my library, still something that I come back to continuously. Um, that might have to do with my love of space. <laughs> I am quite a sucker for games that uh, feature space and or wizards. Those are my weaknesses, for sure. So we've got a lot of currency. I'll pause to uh, upgrade my ship one more time. Let's see, we've got flat cannons, auto defense cannons. We could do some miss missile launchers back here. I think that might be good. I need to upgrade just a little bit. Oh, a shield projector. Mmm, yeah. I need to find a place to fit one of them. All right, so in the design process, you can kind of peel back uh, chunks of your ship, which is really, really helpful. Boop, boop. And now their thrusters kind of hanging out, but we'll just we'll just see where they fit uh, near the end of this. Holy crap, that thing is gigantic. So I'm gonna move this back into place, back into place, back into. God damn it! Control Z, Control Z, everything. Oh, that's how it fits. Duh. All right, so we still need a little more, uh, a little more resources. Proton beams. Manipulator is a grabber beam. What the fuck? There are definitely some new things to this game that I have not seen yet, so I think that's really, really interesting. Factory ship I can use to uh, basically make my ship like a mothership. It can spawn its own fleet all of a sudden, but uh, that uses the resources that are usually turned in for the currency, so I don't particularly enjoy doing that. Um, I will strap another couple missile launchers on here. That seems like a nice safe upgrade, and we need 439. That is perfect. Wonderful. Save it. Bag it up. Look at you, little ship. You're so awesome. Quite a missile volley we're going to have now. I should get the bigger mi missile launchers, but um, my ship's not big enough quite yet. I haven't added too many new blocks to it. I just uh, strapped some weapons on it and said, okay, you're good to go. But if uh, I want to get into combat with some of the bigger ships, we're definitely going to need more 
More ship. More ship means more health, which is only a good thing. Yeah, that is a nice little missile volley that we have going there. It's gonna fuck, uh, the, at least the little ships up. Oh shit! I hate the turrets. Please no. I activated it! It's all that matters! Bye! <laughs> oh god. Alright. Strap a couple of pieces of the ship back onto myself. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's it's angry! <laughs> oh shit. I was hoping to just get some pot shots going. That could work. Just gotta make sure to dodge their uh their fire because ah that fucking hurts. Oh, and now they got a little uh a little beam friend to help them. You coming after me, bro? Better not! Better not! Shit's a mistake! And I, w I do want to keep working on this thing. Just because that is my station now. My station is over there. Why am I not hitting? Hmm. How about you? Is that gonna work? Oh, he's moving in. He's angry. Doesn't matter. Whoop! God damn. Took out the last, the, the back section of my ship with like relative ease. That is quite a giant blaster cannon that they have there. I'm not eager to tangle with it. And it seems to be leaving my, uh, my station alone. So, I shall leave it alone as well. Oh yeah, now we're eating up ships with our fucking, uh, our missile barrage. If they don't have shields, it's, it's over. That's pretty cool. I see one more activate, unactivated station on the map, so I'm gonna head over that way and hopefully not get into too much trouble. I do have, a uh, a bit of currency on me, so it's not gonna be good if I, if I explode. I'll be a little bit upset. But death is like a, a relatively common occurrence in <laughs> reassembly, honestly. Especially once you're trying to take the uh, center of the map and stuff. Things are hotly contested. Holy shit. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Oh my god. Oh my god, scattershot. Oh my god, please activate. Activate station. Run! Run away! <laughs> oh god. Go, little ship, go! Oh shit! Ow! Oh! I ate a fucking missile. Here comes another one. Oh! Damn. Yeah, this game has a uh, appeal for the same reason as rocket rockets, rockets, rockets. The uh, physics are just extremely fun. Slippery and slidey, it really feels like you're in space. And uh, I still have most of my, my currency. I did lose a bit of resources when I died there, but that's just fine. I can evolve my ship at any time. Um, anybody want some missiles? Anybody want some missiles? Oh, shit. They might be little, but they've got some uh, nasty rockets. For damn sure. Chew them up. Chew them up. There. Yes, I love those missiles. Missile storm! Reacquiring target. Doo -doosh, doo -doosh, doo -doosh. And now I could probably take out some ships that are relatively relatively large compared to my size. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here! You ain't supposed to be here. Get out of here! Hey, hey you! Definitely have to lead your shots and things like that. Space battle is hard. If there's one thing I learned, it's that battling in space, it's hard. Forklift. Worth 41p, but I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna scrap that. Scrap that all on the floor. Scrap that. Give me some more. Scrap that. Then upgrade ship. Scrap that. Shit, I really should find a, a way to fit this this madness onto my ship. This gigantic shield station, which I think should... Damn it. Hold these off on accident. There you go. Um, okay, so now I could probably fit a shield projector back here somewhere. Maybe if I put a little... A little doopy doop. Oh, that's gonna make everything uneven. I don't like it. I hate it. Hmm. 
That's so unfair. Why are you terrible, shield projector? How about station shield projector? Is it any better? Just gonna buy a couple, uh, a couple treats. Torpedo launcher. Ooh. Rocket launcher. Ooh. Oh, unguided rockets. No, I like my missile launcher. The blue team does have a better one, but I, I'll i stick with what I got for now. Proton swords and proton beams, I think is how I built on my other file for the review. It was basically just a, a shielded up ship that I would slam into the enemy's face, which worked relatively well, all things considered. I might want to go for proton swords again. Mm, drone launcher could be good too. Let's see. Let's see what it do. Really, really want that fucking shield projector. So what if I just put it here, and then maybe we could snap this on. Snap it on, snap it on. That'll work, I guess. I don't know. Can I, can I, can I... Can I thing here? What's that gonna do? It'll have to. Jesus, what a mess. <laughs> I guess it'll work. That's the important thing. Uh, boop. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, not as, not as cleanly as I'd like. But that might be okay. Let's see if I can get all this shit attached. Oh! Is that gonna work? Maybe gotta get rid of this. That's so awkward. It's so awkward and terrible looking. I don't like it. I don't like it. What could I do to fix that side over there? Hmm. Not much. Shit, man. Alright. Put those fucking things back. Well, I do have uh, the shield generator massively exposed, but I think after after a while, it's not really going to matter. I think. I'll put a couple of thrusters here so we can get like some side motions going. I think the ladies like that side motion. And then uh, I'll snap some droids on, and we'll see how that goes. Should be okay. This seems a little crooked to me. So let's, uh, let's move this piece, like so. Now, I need to upgrade a bit more. It's 600. That's quite costly. Okay, we're at 642 now. I still think it's ugly as piss, man. It's, uh, completely hideous. I'm tempted to start over and just rebuild the whole thing, but I'll see if I can, uh, fix it. Fix it as best I can. Hmm. Hmm. M. Mirror. There we go. Does that do something? We'll put some more thrusters on there. Well, it's not as pretty as I would like, but it will do for now. We'll go ahead and save that. At least I have a shield at this point. Hooray! Hooray! Now I've got lots of fucking... Lots of rocket launchers, lots of drones, things like that. Why is one drone launcher not working? One on my right side is... Is faily. Why is it faily? I guess it doesn't matter. It does produce the drones faster, but it seems like it keeps track of what I have as far as uh, my fleet. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you guys doing out here? Jesus. Delicious rockets. Mmm. My ship looks more like a longboat these days. I guess it's all right. It ain't so bad. Chase this one down. We'll go get him. I got a shield and everything. Check out my space powers. Oh, space powers. 
The red team does not have a shield that surrounds their ship, but they do regenerate parts a lot faster. They have a lot of drones as well. Um, some of those are like auto recovery drones, which are really, really helpful. Medic drone yourself, fool. All right, we're relatively close to a station now. I just want to make sure we're kind of cleared out that there's no big guys lurking. Those circles of colors can really scare me, although generally if they're gigantic, station sized, that's when you get really scared. We'll continue on. I'll continue on. That'll be fine. What is that? What are we doing? Up, oh, up, oh, I'm stuck. I'm sorry. <clears throat> My ship is getting a little bit unwieldy. Uh, due to the length, so we'll need to fatten it out a little bit more. I don't really want to get rid of any thrusters because my ship is moving at like a pretty good clip currently. When I want it to, at least. <laughs> a lot of reassembly is kind of just floating around like, okay, should I go over here? Collect some more stuff. But then once you're on the move, you're like, yaw, tricks! Oh, but don't crash into stuff. That's bad. Get this fucker. Gotta hang on. Oh shit. That's a bad boy. Fuck. I think that might be one of the, uh, the player spawned fleets. It doesn't look like anything that I have ever seen before. And I lost all my fucking resources doing that, so I'm gonna try and head back. See if, uh, it's not picked up yet. Which, you know, if the game has mercy, might not be. Who knows? But I knew, basically, as my shield was coming down, I was like, yep, we're fucked. We're fucked! Hmm, yeah, he got it. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.